Welcome back to Boomer's Playground, everyone. Um, I decided that I'm going to go through the quizzes as well. Um, that way, as I'm going through them, you know, if you guys finish them or maybe you guys get a couple questions wrong, you can go over this video and you can kind of understand um, where the thought process was, you know, incorrect. So, um, so this is going to be a quiz on variables and it's quiz number three. So the first question is, what's the value of score after the following code runs? So we have let score equals five, score plus four. So let's think about this for a second. So it's a let, so that means we can add to it, we can subtract from it, we can reassign it, which is awesome. And then we have score plus four. So I mean, that could be nine, right? Like that makes sense, it's five, we add four, it's nine, right? And um, actually, there's not a lot of people that ask this in any of the discords, so I don't know what most people think, but I could see that being a common um, a common answer, but the answer is gonna be five. And the reason for that is we're adding four to score, but we're not setting that equal to anything. So we're just saying nine. Where does that nine go? It just disappears into the ether. And so for, um, you know, for example, you know, we can just do, we can pretty much do the same thing. And you could do this, um, these quizzes, like if you fail them, it's not really a big deal. They don't, nobody knows that you failed it unless you tell them. So um, I don't think you should cheat like this. And I guess I shouldn't even say this is cheating, but I would not do this unless you failed the question. Because the, the way you learn, as I've said in the previous videos, is really by building stuff. Um, I know it sucks, you know, when you're like, you've been you've been on something for an hour or two hours and you just want the answer. But what what people need to realize is that's when you're actually learning the stuff is when you're struggling and it sucks because you don't feel like you're learning anything. But please, please, please believe me, that's when you're actually learning the information. So. All right, so we got let score, and then we'll do score plus four. And so now this is another area where it might trick you up is you say, oh, we see nine, but let's see what score is. Well, score is still five. So the reason that this doesn't work is because, like I said, we're just doing score plus four. You know, it doesn't know where to go. Now, if we were to do score equals score plus four, then we actually are getting nine because we're saying, hey, take this nine and set it back equal to score. So um, the answer for this will be five and let's check it. And cool, we got it right. Um, so I hope that cleared that up because that's actually a really good question and it's a really easy one to, you know, you know, maybe you're in a rush, maybe you weren't paying like super close attention or maybe you're just really, really new to programming and this is just something that gets you. That's okay, there's nothing wrong with that. Okay, so let's, um, question two, um, what's gonna be the value of bank balance after the code runs? So we kind of have a similar thing, so let's walk through it. All right, so we got let bank balance equal 100, perfect. So bank balance um, divide by equal. So anytime you see a mathematical operator followed by an equal sign, you're essentially saying, so in this instance, we have bank balance to, right so don't um, ignore this we it doesn't know about bank balance yet but what what this what this bit right here is saying is bank balance equals bank balance bank balance divided by two so it's just shorthand for that and so it's the same thing um, on the line below it you know we have this plus equals it's just doing the same thing but it's doing it with a plus and then the same would be this, it would be the same if it was a subtraction sign or um, a multiplication sign, I think. I would have to, if, if, if division works, I have to imagine multiplication works, but let's make sure. Oh, and so, and so this is another interesting thing. If you're, if you're working in your console, whenever you create a constant, you actually have to refresh the page if you want to reuse that constant, because again, you can't reassign something. So um, we'll just do let, um, gosh, what do we do? A, B, C, D. So let's just do Z. We'll start from the other side. 
All right, so z times equals 10. So this should be 100, and z should now be 100. OK, cool. Yeah, so if you see math, a mathematical operator immediately uh, proceeding or having an equal sign following it, that's just saying, take this thing, do this math, and set it equal back to that thing. So with that information, um, I probably should have went through this first, but yeah, so you'll do 100, you'll come in here, you'll say, OK, what is 100? divided by two, that's 50, set that 50 back to bank balance, and then we'll do bank balance is 50 now because we changed it here. So now this is really 50 and we're saying add 10 to that and then set it back equal to this bank balance. So, you know, if you just do the quick math, we're gonna get 60. And we got that one right as well. Um, so yeah, so this one's kind of neat. Um, it, you there, there's really not um, there's like no performance benefit or anything you know doing you know that versus a you know something like that um, it's really just readability um, at the start if it makes it easier for you to kind of wrap your head around it it's just use use this up here you know use the long way and if anybody gives you crap about it tell them to shut up. <laughs> Like it's dumb for somebody to complain about this. Um, this down here, this is what you're going to see in production and in you know like code most of the time. Um, and not all languages have this, so keep that in mind as well. But use whichever one makes more sense for you. And then, you know, once you get a job, um, they will probably have a style guideline, and you'll have to do what they say anyway. So, all right, cool. So that was question two, and so now we have question three. Um, so what is the value of age after the following code runs? So we have const age 64, and then we do age plus plus. So I'll let you guess what plus plus does. It's pretty intuitive. Um, so take a second, pause the video, see if you can, don't cheat, see if you can figure it out. Okay, cool. So what plus plus does is it just adds one to a number. So you look at this, you say const age 64, age plus plus. So you're thinking, oh, it should be 65, right? Well, 65 is going to be wrong because we have this const here. And so what did we learn in the last exercise? You cannot change a const. Again, if it's a number or a string or you know, one of those true value types. So this is actually going to error. So age is still going to be 64 because we can't add to it. And you'll see we got that right. So and oh yeah, it even says that. But so like what you, what you would normally see is so we'll do what so what was z z was 100. So z plus plus is the exact same thing as z equals z plus one. And then you'll see the same thing with minus. So you'll see now we have 101, and then we'll do z minus minus. Now we have 100. So z minus minus is just z equals z minus one, the exact same thing. So now with division and multiplication, it's not quite that simple. Um, with multiplication, if you do star star, you have to pass a value in. So um, it's like we have three, star star means expon um, it's the exponential operator. I don't even know if that's the right word for it, but you're saying exponentially, ex <laughs> times three by itself this many times. So if we do two, it's gonna be nine. If we do three, it's gonna be 27 and so forth. So the, the times times is not just uh, one, it's saying, hey, times yourself this many times. So you're saying times the thing on the left, which is three by itself this many times, which is four, and then we get 81. And then I actually don't even know if there's, I don't even know what that does. Um, Uh, math operator. Okay. Well, maybe it does nothing, so let's find out. So we'll do 100 and we'll do dot dot by 2. We still get 100. And okay, so it seems like this back back means nothing. Um, 
Oh, and actually, now that I'm looking at it now, this is actually how you do um, one of the ways you can do comments in JavaScript. So that actually makes perfect sense why that wouldn't be anything. So in JavaScript, you anything here, this is just a comment. So it'll never, never be run. It's there for you to kind of, um, you know, know what you've been doing that. All right. So, oh, crap, we got one of them wrong. Which one did we get wrong? I must have clicked the wrong button. What is the value of a score after the following code runs? I thought we got that one right. OK, let's go back. Let's see what. Yeah, so it's, it's five, right? Yeah, that's good. That's 60. The next, and that one's 64. Okay. All right. Well, I, I'll have to, maybe I clicked the wrong one. I'll have to go back and watch the video. But regardless, um, I walked through it, so I hope you guys got the concept down. So um, I will um, we'll end it there, and then we'll jump into quiz four to see what that's about. Um, I hope you guys learned something. Um, if you didn't, or you did, or you have questions, leave them in the comment section below, and I will catch you on the next exercise.